I like this stuff. Sure. Now, have you been? Have, you haven't been out to the, the festival yourself. Well, I think we're recording here. So, welcome to another episode of the Doctor Fantastic and Thunder Show. It's early morning hours, but I've got a young man here who is a Burning Man aficionado. How many years have you been going? Uh, eight. Eight years. And eight for nine. And how? Uh, how did you hear about it? What made you want to go? I had a. I had a. Uh, girlfriend who turned me on to it. We went for a few years together, and then we split ways, and I kept going. So, it's, uh, yeah, been going and going and going. It's so, a lot that, uh, that gives, and uh, it's worth going back to. So. Do you go in luxury, or do you go uh, uh, in, um, like, on a tent? Or? Uh, I'm tent. I go a week early to help build, and uh, so it's kind of a longer festival for me, but I'm, I'm in a tent. I'm with my camp, but uh, we've got shade, but it's it's no RV. There's no plumbing or whatever. So, and do you uh, see the same people each year? Obviously, you're always meeting new people, but but it's like a camp, uh, like a group. We're a little group. We we bring a certain gift to the community, and uh, part of the reason I go back year after year is to see the same people. We uh, bond connections. Yeah, are out there. And you just said you had some friends that you met there that you still see uh, on a basis here sure yeah a little bit a little bit we're we're finally to the point now where it's like okay it's worth traveling 900 miles to come see you for a weekend you know and uh because they come from all over for that all all over we have people in our camp from europe we have people at burning man from all over the world and we have people at our camp from all over the country so. now what are the changes in eight years is it getting better is it getting more commercialized uh, what's your I feeling I don't it? know the only uh, so you'll hear that phrase a lot you say oh Burning Man's getting more commercialized and at the only I missed 2015 that was the only year I missed in the last uh, nine years All Right. and uh, I honestly can say I really haven't seen much of a change as far as Burning Man becoming more commercial Okay. I don't see vendors. I don't see um, blatant advertising. The only thing I could say about that is I've seen less of an effort to decommodify. So putting the stickers up on the U-Haul so it doesn't say U-Haul, that sort of thing. Um, I've seen less of that. But as far as Burning Man becoming a more commercial event, I don't. What does it cost? They raise the prices every once in a while, but I think a face, I think a face value ticket is still three ninety. Three hundred ninety bucks for how long? Uh, six nights, seven days, I think, for the public ticket going public. Yeah. And there's how many people that attend? Uh, land ma- uh, land permit max is out at seventy k. Seventy thousand, and it fills. We Burning Man has sold out the last what four or five years in a row now. Wow. Yeah. And uh, what time of year is it? End of August. End of August. Last week of August. So going into the first few days of September. So, uh, tell me, uh, anything unique happened this last one? Um, <laughs> uh, well, for those of you who may have been avoiding Burning Man because of the overwhelming techno music, I can happily report that it's actually gotten better. Uh, this year, this last year, I saw live bands on stage who played instruments and sang. Okay. And it was really inspiring to hear something other than a DJ player player. So, I don't know. What's the uh, craziest sure. person you saw? Because there's a lot of um, crazy. Sure it's me half the time. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but the one that comes to mind off the top of my head was we were uh, sitting out on our front porch at the burn on Wednesday morning, and the milkman came by. And the milkman delivered white Russians that we drank very quickly. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, he came back for lunch, too, and then later for dinner. So we had a White Russian day. It was really nice. Oh. But the whole, like, dressed as a milkman, had his bicycle, complete with the old retro right. glass jars. And, right. Yeah, just White Russian and stuff. So, and, uh, very social, very civilized. Yeah. A lot of nudity? <sighs> yes, but it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like when you're in a locker room it's just kind of like after a few minutes you just like okay there's another naked person right. and another naked person and another naked person yeah, well, one of the reasons I'm kind of interested in I had no, some friends that go to it but my par- my parents were beatniks so it, you know as a child we ran around naked in, in the commune I lived in a commune you know so it's, you uh, 
I, nothing about your communes was probably more risque when it came to like nudity or whatever, just because we had a more concentrated group of interested, focused people, like we're nudists. Right. That's what we do here. But with the burn, it's just kind of like some people go nude, some people you wish wouldn't, some people you wish <laughs> would go nude. It's just. Yeah, it's just naked people. So it, it culminates with a, a, a burning of a, a edifice of some sort. It does, and it's it bigger. It's the same every year. It's different every year. It's a man every year. It's, it's a man every year, but they they change the design of like one year he was on top of a wooden spaceship. One year he was on top of elevated platforms. Um, the burning of the man, while it, it is highly some, uh, it's the pinnacle of the week. Uh, I think for those of us who really have been going to the burn for years and years now, Burning Man really happens Monday through Friday for a lot of us when we get to teach our classes, when we get to really participate with the, the citizens of the, of the city. Uh, the burning of the man is, is kind of like is the end. It's, it's, the, it's the very climax of it. But the, the real magic, a lot of the real magic that I've experienced happens way before the man burns, way before the man burns. So when you go there, you say you're, you're teaching things? Uh, I'm part of a sex positive camp and we offer classes, yeah. I'm sorry, sex positive? Sex positive. So we were a kinky camp. So for those of you interested in handcuffs and blindfolds, and we teach ethics and consent and responsible communication and how to do it safely and sanely and consensually so that everybody leaves with a big smile. I, I knew some um, swingers. Uh, Big time swingers. They were you know, they're old now, so they've been fired. You know, but <laughs> we've got one or two. But we, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people who are swingers who come in to use our camp. If it was seventy thousand people, you'd only meet so many people. I yeah, mean, it's well, a it's big camp. They're, well, they're yeah. Well, it's it's a small niche interest group. We're not for everybody. Uh, we're not for most people. But we are there for the few thousand that come through our tent flaps every year. But, um, and of course, we, it's free because no one charges course, for anything, well, right? We ask for ID, but you you do barter systems, so to speak. I guess I imagine, right? Uh, gifting, gifting. It, the barter is the exchange of like one good for another, whereas gifting is kind of like I brought extra. Okay. Need anything? You know. Right. The difference in philosophy. But so now you, you need to bring enough food for the entire week, correct? Mm-hmm. And you you run out, you're kind of screwed, huh? Uh, sure, maybe, but there's a lot of people bringing food. It's like I say, it's everybody brings extra, and then we all eat like kings. <laughs> That's kind of the more the bar the barter thing is. It's not a thing. It's it's uh it's a poor way of explaining a much higher okay. ideal. So in August, um, obviously the light uh, is longer. You know, sunsets around you know eight ish, nine ish, right, or something like that. In August, it goes over the mountain range at what must be about seven thirty eight. It's pretty dark. Is it cold there? Uh, different years. It uh, just depends. It's all different. Yeah. And where is it at exactly? So you know where Reno, Nevada is. Right. So think two and a half hours northeast of Reno. Okay. It's the middle of nowhere. Um, I think Google Maps now has it. If you type in Black Rock City, it'll it'll drop a pin on it. And they probably have a um, BurningMan.com site, I mean, Sure, yeah. If, uh, if anybody's interested in going... You can visit the BurningMan.org website. There's plenty of information there, uh, and there is a first-timer's guide for those of you who want to know things like, how much water should I bring? Uh, What kind of clothes should I wear? How do I fit into the culture? How do I get sleep at Burning Man? Like, stuff like that. Check out the first-timer's guide. It's all on the website. And you go in a a, a tent. You do. You you tent it. People do RVs for those that can afford it. You can take an RV out there. There's no hookups, but, you know, you can take it. Uh, most everybody else is in some kind of a tent or shelter of sorts. So, yeah. It's our little city for the week. And uh, so do you buy your tickets right away? Like, you, for next year, you already bought it? Uh, Burning Man's come up with a couple different ways to sell their tickets for different uh, income levels and different needs. But uh, I usually get my tickets through the camp, through my individual camp. Uh-huh. Uh, we pull our resources and we've been around for about 10 years now and so the organization knows who we are and we get a couple work early access passes and uh, we get uh, access to a couple tickets so that our core people can come in and bring that camp back year after year so well that's that's a wonderful um vacation is it at your vacation during the year oh absolutely what do you do for work 
uh, motion picture uh, rigging grip. Oh, good. That's a fun job. I've been yeah, watching. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good paying job, exactly. It's a good paying job, but it's it has its it has its limitations. Well, long hours, that's for sure. Long hours, and for me personally, I'm I'm actually getting ready to transition out, uh, starting to study for a second career, just because uh, it's a very physically demanding job. It's yeah. not a young man; it's a young man's game. Right. And uh, there is a there is a t- uh, kind of a ceiling with the what you need to know to really do it. Right. Uh, if, once you kind of know what you're doing as a grip. There's not a whole lot more to learn after right. a while. Well, I've had ni- uh, se- 79 different gigs I've worked in. Motion picture, television, okay, theater, sure. theater, construction. And I like changing up, changing it up, you know. Absolutely. Like yesterday I worked on a yacht. I drive, I'm a captain of yachts and I drive um, limos and drive my wife crazy and sure. lots of things. Fun. you got to have fun, you know. Well, thank you for participating in a, in one of our interviews. And uh, these podcasts are all about bringing you know information to people uh, to improve their mind, their body, or the planet. And this seems like it impro- improves the mind because you go there and you probably come back very relaxed and well, uh, the energetic. Will work on your body and your mind. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So the the body as well too. And the fact that the uh, the planet it keeps it. I guess there's not a piece of trash that gets left. After you guys are gone, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Keep the planet clean, you know. Littering is a, it's, it's a, a big disaster. Thousand person, no trace of that. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, th- that's uh, to be uh, applauded. Thank you for participating. No problem. Fly safe. Sure. Everybody listening, check out Help Doctor Fantastic and Thunder Save the Planet on YouTube. We're, we're experiencing an extinction level event. Everyone needs to know about it. And our phase one is tell everyone about it so go to on youtube help dr fantastic and thunder save the planet thanks for listening everybody have a great day have a fantastic day